some food for you today we didn't go camping this weekend so we wanted to make a video and here it is I thought because I've got two nice bunny rabbits I'll do a nice little Spanish style stew for you guys and we're also going to do a damper in so we're going to use two camp ovens we've got a big big girl then we've got a little one and then we're going to put it in my fireplace so we're going to go two different methods of cooking, two different styles, I should say. And um, I'm going to get this prepared, cut it up, and we'll go from there. So keep an eye on this. I will guarantee you, if you like rabbit, you're going to want to cook this. Cut everything, ready to go. Now we're going to start it off on the grill, on the gas cooker, sorry, in the Dutch oven, and then we're going to transfer it over to the smoker because we're going to smoke it for about two to three hours. Now the pig temp is at 180, 200. I want to get it up to 250, and then we're, we're rolling. How this works? You've got your firebox. This is where your fire goes goes into your big chamber, your cooking chamber, and you've got a, uh, a flue on the other side which pulls the smoke across the food and out. So that's my smoker. So with this, we're going to start off with some chorizo, garlic, rabbit of course, we're going to brown that off. We've got uh, roasted capsicum, we've, we've sliced up. Now this is a Spanish style dish, okay, so chicken uh, stock, you can't have a Spanish dish without smoked paprika, so that's what we're going in with. Can of tomatoes and Worcestershire sauce. So, I'm not going to bore you with all the things, we'll do a bit of B roll, speed it up a little bit, and uh, you can watch me cook. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. Now, this is the most important part to make it Spanish. The old beautiful chorizo. You get these cooking, they release their oil and make every dish so much better.
So we've done all the gas cooking. Now it's going to go on the smoker. I'm going to not put the lid on it because I want the smoke to get into a penetrator. So I'm going to put it on and I'm going to, I reckon probably two hours, I'm going to let this sit in there and just smoke away with that smoke. Beautiful smoke. I'll check it after an hour. After an hour, see how it's going. But we want it to be like a nice skin layer on top, a beautiful smoke. What I'm smoking it with is charcoal and some red gum. Yeah, red gum, beautiful smoke flavour. This is going to be way better than any stew that you do inside. Alright guys, so Kristen is putting together our damper for tonight to go with our rabbit stew. Now, the way we're going to cook it is a little bit different. This is our fireplace under our abogola. I brought this off eBay years ago. What about 12 years? Oh, 10 years ago. It's actually a canara. Copper canara. So we had leftover bricks. We got our fireplace built. We used to come out here and watch TV or movies and all that, our family nights out here. Now we've got the fireplace inside. We generally don't come out here and it's been entertaining. So, but tonight we're going to cook it in here because it's raining, it's a miserable day. So we want to be undercover, so here we go. We've got the charcoal cook lighting up, and this is where we're going to cook it. So it's going to be the same as camping, but we're under shelter. And uh, the beer's going down good. I'm loving this, so stay tuned. All right, so it's my turn to get in front of the camera now and time for Lee to get back there because he's smashing down a few beers while he's got the stew going in the um, offset smoker. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a damper in a smaller camp oven in a fireplace, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to be a little cheeky and I'm actually going to use the recipe that I use for my pizza dough with a little bit of a twist, so um, God help us if this doesn't turn out. <laughs> I think it'll be alright, but anyways, we're going to give it a, a bit of a shot and see what, what how it turns out. Alright, so main ingredient is flour. Now, I like to use good double zero flour because it's the best when it comes to pizza and bread. Um, I've got over here about one and a half cups of warm water and I've got about two sachets which is about 14 grams of yeast so as you can see it's bubbling over over there which is looking great I do have a cheeky tablespoon of um, brown sugar in there as well because my pizza dough recipe calls for a bit of sugar so I'm going to try it with a bit of sugar in there um, and butter and the only other thing that's going to go in there is a bit of salt when I'm mixing but I am because it's a savory one I am going to put in a little bit of rosemary that we've got from our backyard all right now once I mix it in my trusty little KitchenAid mixer over here I am going to take it inside the house let it rise for about an hour and then we'll bring it back out let's get going Okay, our dough is looking really good. So all I'm going to do is just grease this bowl. Alright, 
so we're an hour in. I've been maintaining the fire in the smoker. So here you go. I just put two pieces in. Now once I put two pieces in and they're, they're lit, I close it back up. And then I take a couple more bits, put them on top of the firebox, and that pre-warms them up. And then, so when I put them in, they catch light a lot quicker. But here we go, so now we're in, like I said. I'm just gonna hop over my dog. <laughs> Look at that. That goodness. Now the hour more, I might crank up the, the temp a little bit more because I keep in Fahrenheit on here, on here, okay? So before I open up the door, we'll sit at 300 Fahrenheit, which is 150 Celsius, okay? So hence why I'm going to be cooking it for a long time because I'm going to at lower temp just to get that smoke penetrated into it. Can't wait. guys as you can see my dough has risen which is great I'm just going to punch them just to take the gases out of it and now all I'm going to do is dust my little chopping board over here with a bit of flour and we're going to give it a little bit of a roll up before it goes into the camp oven um, I don't know if you can see it but all we've done is we do have a trivet which I'll show you at the bottom of our camp oven but just to make it easy to lift the um the bread out once it's done um lee's genius idea was to use a bit of foil i said maybe we should use um baking paper so we just rolled up some baking paper just to use like a little u-shape at the bottom of the camp oven so we can bring it back up all right let's get rolling the dough
Look at that. The smell. Well. Wow. It's finally time for us to taste what we've created. Good luck to us. <laughs> Alrighty. That bread. Hey? That damper. Oof. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's not too spicy. It's beautiful. Oh, so I'll take this. To put it down. I'm going to pick up my hands. It's beautiful. I would high five you, but your hands are dirty now. Give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gold. They're really good. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you ever have some bunnies laying around, <laughs> um, try out the um, what is it? Spanish Spanish rabbit. Spanish rabbit stew, or Lee calls it the bunny rabbit stew. <laughs> so, or you can just give me the rabbit, and I'll like cook it <laughs> and eat it. That too. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button on the way out. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification um, button so you don't miss a, um, another video. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Guys.